All right, just got off the water at uh, Orville, doing some practice for the upcoming Yakabass. Figure I'd give you guys a walk around at the uh, new Canoe Unlimited. Start off in the bow, we got the uh, Motor Guide XI3. Um, just getting ready to take it off. So I use the Anderson connectors. Just running through, through all kits from Yak Attack and then eight gauge wire. Um, the uh, Motor Guide's got the quick disconnect with the one objective mount. Got this idea from another guy on YouTube, tether this thing so you don't lose it. I'll take, the, take this off here and show you the inside here. Show you the gear pod. This thing's pretty pretty cool. I got, it's all like inclusive. So I got the 30 amp battery, amp hour battery, put some junk in here. 30 amp hour Z Pro, Garmin, Live Scope. And I use the, uh, uh, Yak power uh, 50 amp circuit breaker so I can turn it on and off so I don't have to, the light scope and I'm not using it, so I run out of the battery. I uh, got the Yak power uh, unit that goes ahead and distributes all the uh, power to the lights. I got uh, navigation lights and then I got some lights down here. Um, got the uh, Garmin 93 SV. I run all the uh, Yak Attack through hole kits in it. Uh, and then uh, I got the live scope uh, mount. I got the uh, Yak Gadget 12XDs and I found these little rubberized clamps on uh, Amazon. Just kind of keeps it in place. And let's see here. I got the, uh, the uh, switchblade uh, transducer. Show you that. <laughs> This thing's pretty sweet. Um, I, I never had an external one, but it's uh, it's awesome. Just swings up out of the way when I'm not using it. Um, let's see, another XD from Yak Power. I'm sorry, Yak Gadget. Too many Yaks. Um, and then I got the Yak Power uh, uh, Bluetooth controller. So that'll run everything in the, in the pod. And let's see, I got the uh, foot control from uh, for the rudder steering, or you can hook up a torpedo to it. From New Canoe, this thing's awesome. Foot control is just it's perfect. That's the uh, rudder right here. So it's got a quick disconnect. And then, like I said, the same bracket. You can buy another bracket and hook up to your Torquedo. So that's pretty cool. Uh, back here has got the uh, my battery box. Custom box I made out with a 1316 Yak Attack. Again, the 50 amp connectors. Uh, and then I got 1313. That's the... Uh, yeah, I can tell it's just for my uh, my tackle. And I got all the rod holder, holders you can see. Um, Sammy Poe uh, uh, seat mount with the uh, boondocks set up all built in underneath it. Makes this kayak totally balance perfectly when you're towing up the hill or down the hill. And then I got this little uh, amp gauge here. This is kind of read like how much battery you got left and how many amps you're drawing when you're going down the uh, going down the lake here. I'm still working out some under storage. I got a little rigid box here. It goes here, holds my gloves and scale and such. And then I got my uh, my uh, catch board. So I was able to get one fish today, a little 13 and three quarter. So that was cool. Um, yeah, and that's about uh, bending branches, angler ace, the carbon 280 centimeter uh, paddle. This thing paddles really good. Um, trying to figure what else out. Oh, got the uh, yak, yak attack again for the uh, pole for the GoPro. So I run that set up here and then my battery box has a little, I put a little USB on the side of it. So it works out pretty good. Um, yeah, that's it. That's pretty much uh, about it though, but the thing's awesome. Handles rough water good. Um, shit, I, can't, I came from a Hobie PA-12 and man, I'm, I'm so stoked. Uh, I mean, having the, the motor guide and the spot lock is just, is money, so. Anyway, uh, yeah, I, I'm completely stoked. Uh, hopefully uh, the fishing's better in a couple weeks, but if you get a chance, uh, follow me on Demolition Fishing. I'm on uh, YouTube and then Instagram. All right, and check out uh, New Canoe. They got some great stuff. All right, take it easy.